Cloud carries people. Uh, not, not, not great characters. If you're great with Cloud, that's great. But you know. So game one here on Town and City. Mm -hmm. Kenta opting right for that platform, but you know, jumping for some reason. Well, you know, to avoid. Yeah, Zarko trying to avoid getting hit. Approach. What do you got hit with that bomb? <clears throat> trying to just get that yeah. limit right now. And then opting just to go aggressive. He he dashed towards the bomb, thought it'd be a great idea, yeah. and thought, wait a second, I think it's gonna blow up. Then turned around and got hit by the bomb explosion anyway. I think we're mainly wa wanting to uh, <laughs> see Kenta uh, using forward air a lot in this match. <laughs> Spacing it correctly. Usually funny though, I, I can see uh, Zyko also going for forward air like that. The first hit, hit one of forward air. Oh, I believe he was trying to get a finishing good. touch right there, maybe, but I'm, I'm doubtful that that mm -hmm. would have killed. I think the one thing that uh, Kent doesn't have to pick up, if he picks up on this, it'll be really bad for Zydeco. Um, A lot of links, even though they know it's a bad idea, they go for his I'm blowing his grass. limit out. Like I said, even though, like, yeah, links, a lot of links like to grab, even though it's, like, probably really disgustingly easily punishable. <laughs> and Zydeco living the life of a low tier is probably dealt with trying to get caught a lot. Okay, forward smash gonna take that for stock out, though. Let's go, Kenta. Take that for stock. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, it's just dependent on whether or not Kenta can learn from uh, Zydeco's bad habits of being since right. it's a low tier. It's looking right now that Zydeco's having some bad habits himself. Um, like I said, yeah. Wrong uses of, of uh, Dare. Alright, let's see what he's gonna do. Go for the up air. No. No. I think uh, it's too heavy. No, it's not too heavy. I think it's just like Kenta DI'd away. DI'd away. Yeah. So, I mean, I think if he picks up on that, uh, he'll just start fairing him instead. Especially seeing how right now he's a fast. There, there's some him. characters like my, like my own that are super light that um that's almost a confirm. Good job using the arrow though to uh, burn the limit. And also good on Kenta opting to go for that platform. I think what um. I think what Zydeco is going to have to do is if he sees Kenta approaching him with Nair, he's going to have to shield, and then instead of going for uh, like a grab, which can be risky, just go for like a tilt. Right. It's not as bad, and since he's at this percent, it'd be much better to kill. <clears throat> like right now, a forward tilt. It's looking kill. like a grab is going to take it. Kill? Yep. Yep. All right. Low ceiling, that much percent, uh, it, is, it does begin to kill. I mean, as Cloud, anything can happen, especially when Link has some pretty good tools for camping. Um, mm -hmm. Especially with Gale Boomerang, oh my goodness. This way, yeah. If he takes him off far enough and then assists him with the wind box of it, it'll be beautiful. I, I legitimately might cry just a little bit <laughs> from how beautiful that would be. Right. Um, due to the nature of you know Cloud wanting to hop up and down uh, all the time, uh, he's not looking like he's getting too many grabs in this matchup. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Zydeco's also got to learn if he does cross slash, even though it looks punishable, it is probably one of the least punishable moves in Smash. Kenja's smart though, when um, he's seen that boomerang come in him, he opts to just go on the ground and shield so the win, win box doesn't affect him at all. Watch that, he shields that. Oh, didn't shield that yeah. one. Yeah. So it looks like Zydeco's like opting to like, you know, lay like a battlefield around him in terms of like the bombs and whatnot. He said to and then Kenja's island. like, that's cute, I'm gonna sit here and charge him a bit. He's oh, like, man. It out. Put it. Oh, that's, yeah, that could be unfortunate. Smart on the man for putting it in. Wow. Put him in a no-tech situation, sending him down to the blast zone. Kenta had the lead get a little too aggressive. That's another problem with Kenta. Like, good player, but like if he sees the stock, he just he just gets like tunnel vision and just says, end it, end mm -hmm. it, end it. And that, right. that kind of led to his death there. I don't even remember what percent that Zydeco was at. I mean, he end. was like in the 80s, which is, you know, forward smash range for, for Cloud. But. I think he was at least past 100. Really? I don't remember. I don't... Game two. Game, game two. two. Yeah, game two. We'll just, <laughs> game two. Either way, Zydeco won. It doesn't matter what the percent was. Zydeco got that slick back air. Funny enough, I was talking about how that's probably his like, worst move for switch? killing. No, he did not. Yeah. That was... Understandable, because, you know, Fox versus Lynx can be depressing sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, Especially seeing your fastball, like, if he gets one grab on him, all it's going to be is just up tilt for days. Yeah. And then uh, finish it off with an up smash. Yeah, like my that. jungle right here. Yeah. Even yeah. Uh, catching his down air. Yeah, Link's down here used to be something to respect, yeah. but now with all these pocket clouds, there is no respect for Link's down here. <laughs> okay, there you go. Down air coming out a little bit too fast for him at the up air. Not enough knock kick, though. It's going so limit. Wow! The spike. That was spike great. hitbox. Spider Pro. Coming oh, out. Man. Playing nasty right now. Wait, he's just throwing it out because he feels like it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Kenta fair. opting to jump so the grab doesn't uh, work there. Gain the bomb into wow, the nice combo, confirm. Yeah. The grab, off stage. Nope. Nothing for an air, pretty bad choice. Just seeing how you know, you, you, you know, Essential Cloud has like the better link there now. So I mean, 
a, a little weird to choose a horizontal hitbox move. Right. Here on the stage, gonna take that stock out. What's up? So now we got a Kenna with Limit. Um, you can't obviously just get a simple gimp off of him now. Yeah, but for most of the things, after that jank kill from that first game, uh, Kenta seems a little flustered. He's playing a little right. less patient, and it, it could come to end him. Wow. There we go, saving him. Unfortunate. I was going to say Kenta got it. Like, aggressive play was going to work for him. He, but... I believe if he would have limit touch there or used his side B, he would have stayed in place for long enough for Zydeco to just SD. Mm -hmm. But like, that's, that's the problem with the pocket yeah. cloud. You don't understand this game is so. Up smash going to lead to a forward smash, and that's potentially going to. Nope, not going to no, take it. All right. Not at all. Back throw. Zydeco's usage of um, Tether to make it back on the stage. Is that a that kill? Could be death. That's gonna be death right there. Yep, up wow. there, gonna take it. Yep, Zydeco taking it. Into the true combo of no contest. That is that unfortunate was such a for Back and forth match. Yeah, that was back and forth with that one spike coming out of Zydeco. Like I said, obviously, Kenta. okay, it felt like Zydeco was losing a lot of that matches, but once he got him to the he right percent. He gets a good read and takes him off stage. He, no, he took advantage of uh, Cloud's weaknesses, like which is like you said, going off stage. So. Yeah, unfortunately, um, Kenta playing as if he's a fox is not really going to work out too much for him. Unfortunate for Kenta. It was a nice run for him.